So today I'm going to be filming a product empties. I have no idea what part I'm at. I'm at like part three or something. But I have a whole bag full of things that I've used up and I want to chuck them out. So that's why I'm filming this video. So pretty much if you don't know what a product empties is, pretty much I'm just going to be talking about what I liked and what I'm going to be repurchasing and what no way, never repurchasing kind of thing. So yeah, I talk about products that I love, products that I hate, and that I just wanted to use up. So before I get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my social media that is right there, Michaela J218. And yeah, let's get into the video. I felt like I was talking so fast just then, and I'm kind of proud of myself. So for some reason, I have a lot of like shampoos and conditioners, I think, in my bag. But the first product that I want to talk about is my Organic Care Color Shield Shampoo with Organic Ginseng and Wheat Germ Oil. This is for um, hair that has color in it or you don't want sun damage kind of thing. This is pretty much what this is. It's a vegan shampoo. It smells literally amazing and the ingredients are so good. It's grey water safe. It's sourced from plants, cruelty free, vegan, Australian made and owned which is always a plus supporting sustainable palm oil and 100% recycle recycled and recyclable bottle so yeah this product is just really good and I would literally recommend this to anyone I will be getting this again however I do have one at the moment that I love the next product is a nature's organics fruit so this is like the cheaper version of what I just showed you except this isn't the conditioner this is the only product that I like from nature's organics fruits literally the only product that I like vegan cruelty free it's in blueberry and coconut and it's a hydrating conditioner and it's Australian made and owned because it's the same brand pretty much just a cheaper version very very affordable it's like a dollar or something and it's extremely good and it smells literally amazing it's limited edition however it's like been on the shelves for like a year so yeah this is by far the best one the next product is also from nature's organics fruits it is the apple fresh shampoo balancing uh shampoo <laughs> i hated this one <laughs> I literally only used it up because I wanted to use it up. I am never repurchasing this again because it is so drying, it doesn't smell like apples, and it's just horrible. Like, it's not a good shampoo in the slightest. With these products, you only need a tiny bit of shampoo. So this lasted a very long time, and I'm so glad that I'm not on it anymore. I would not recommend the Apple one. The other ones are a lot better than this one, but the Apple one, the Apple range is just not good. And the conditioner, I don't know where the conditioner is i think i might have put it in a product empties or i used it up ages ago but not good do not recommend that one now that we've gotten off of shampoo and conditioners i'm going to be talking about a makeup remover that i love this is the australian pure beauty sensitive makeup be gone micellar water makeup remover this is kind on eyes with kakadu plum and cucumber extract this is also australian made and owned so if you I've seen a link here. It's completely unintentional getting Australian made and own products, but this is literally one of my favourite makeup removers, so would definitely recommend this. If you use a lot of it, it does start to sting around the eye area, so, but you don't need a lot of it, so that will hardly ever happen unless you're wearing a shit ton of makeup. Then I pray for you. Yeah, this is just a really good makeup remover, and I'm definitely repurchasing this once I use up my other one that I have, which I made a video about. I did cheap first cheap, so if you want to see that, it's a couple videos back, and so if you want to see my complete review on it, I've got a video on it. So the next product is actually two toothpaste. This is from the same brand, but. This is their old packaging and this is their new one, so yeah, this is just the, I can't even read the name, France Australia Mild Mint with Aloe Vera Natural Toothpaste. This has no fluoride, no LSS and no parabens and certified vegan. So these toothpastes are literally the ones that I use. I don't use any like Colgate, any of that because when I've used those, those are the ones that I've had problems with my teeth. So I've gone to the dentist and they've been a problem. Ever since I've been on the natural plant-based toothpaste, I've never had a problem with my teeth. I've been using these for a couple years now. So yeah, these are literally so good. You can find them at Woolworths and yeah, they have tons of other flavors, but they don't sell them at Woolworths at the moment. The next product is a makeup product. It is the Designer Brands Lightweight Oil Free Foundation with Radiant Coverage SPF 15. So this is the foundation that I have completely used up. It looks like there's still foundation in there, but I cannot for the life of me get it out. So I don't think there is any more left over. This was a 
a very good foundation the only problem is it oxidized a little bit so next time i'd go a shade lighter however now that it's in the summer i'm getting darker and i haven't even really been outside so this is a really good affordable vegan foundation it's only like 15 dollars so yeah very affordable and it's in a glass container 81% agree that skin looks more beautiful and natural after using this so yeah this is such a good foundation and I'm definitely repurchasing it when I have the chance however I can't repurchase it anywhere near me at the moment. The next product is also a makeup based product it is the Inica Organic Certified Organic Lip Good Foundation. This is in just a trial size and this oxidized quite a lot. So if you want to get an Indica foundation, that's Charlie. <laughs> if you want to get an Indica foundation, I would definitely recommend going a shade lighter than you actually are because it does oxidize. The only problem with this is that it was an orange undertone and I am not by any means an orange undertone as you can see. If you want to get the full size it is very expensive however literally the ingredients in their foundations and pretty much every part of their product is literally amazing and when I get more money I will definitely be buying Inica for sure. And the very last product is a hair care favourite it is by the brand Just Coco. it is a coconut water undeniably radiant hydrating oil spray with coconut oil which makes sense this was like four dollars or something from a browse and save that i had it says suitable for vegans and not tested on animals so i got it and honestly it was such a good product i love the way it made my hair look because i put it on at night and just the way that i'd wake up my curls were more defined not my curls but my waviness as you can see this is my natural hair this was a really good product and if they still sell it then i'm definitely going to get more because it is such a good product and the ingredients aren't even that bad for something so affordable so definitely going to be repurchasing this if they still have it so so that pretty much concludes this video if you want to see more videos like this make sure you let me know don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you liked this video and don't forget to follow my social media that is right there i should say this every video but i don't because i always forget i have a bird if you can't tell <laughs> He makes a lot of noise, he sees birds outside and he wants to talk to them, although if they were to get anywhere near him he'd freak out. But yeah, I have a bird, his name's Charlie and I love him, he's my baby. So yeah, if you wanted to know what all those noises were, I'm pretty sure you could put two and two together, but yeah. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this video and I'm gonna go now, so bye. <laughs>